Well, hello, fellow aviators. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for the last video I made about the uh, gauges. Uh, they did not work. I went out to the airport uh, last week to try to balance the carbs, got everything set up, and turns out that those tubes that I bought uh, and the uh, gate, uh, the shutoff valves, were not sensitive enough to get the needles to work properly. I screwed that up. I apologize. I've deleted that video. Hope you didn't do anything based on that video. <clears throat> this video, I'll talk about the uh, tool, uh, the gauges that I think are going to work. I'm going to try to do it this week. If you see this video, that means I was at the airport. I did sink the carbs, and this does work. Uh, otherwise, I won't uh, put the video up. So first of all, I want to talk about how I made the uh, Rotex adapter, which is uh, this, this right here and this. So I'll show that video now, and then I'll come back and discuss the rest of this. So let's get started. The brass reducer fittings that I ordered, and I'll show a picture of that right now from Amazon. The closest I could find was one half inch to one quarter inch. The quarter inch is perfect. Half inch is a sixteenth of an inch too wide for the seven sixteenths tubing. So my solution is going to be to take this fitting, the half inch, and take a sixteenth of an inch off of it with my metal lathe. If you don't have a metal lathe, you could easily do this. Well, I say easy. You could do it with a drill press. Put it in a drill press, put a file on it, and take it down. Sixteenth of an inch is not a lot of brass. I looked for all kinds of fittings, plastic, uh, you name it. This is the closest I could find. So this is the before. I will turn it down, and then I will show you the uh, after picture of what it looks like. So I just finished turning this. It didn't take very long. Really all I did was take the ridges off of the barb. I'll show you one. This is, this is one uh, that has not been turned. You can see, see the ridges on it. And so just take the ridges off. And again, didn't take much of it off. Hose slides on fine now. Uh, you only have to do that on one of them because even though it's bigger than the hose, the one side, which I did, you can just shove it in. And it, it's, I mean, it takes a little bit of pressure to get it in, but you can shove it into the, into the hose. The reason I didn't want to do the same thing on the engine is because I didn't want to damage the hose that was attached to the engine. This part of the hose will just be part of the adapter. So no problem in, in uh, just shoving that in. So there's, there it is with the barbs. There it is after I turned it. And again, just took the, uh, took the barbs off, wasn't much took me maybe not even five minutes. So that should be ready to go. And we'll show the rest of it when we get it all put together. Okay, so that worked very well. Uh, these, part, these parts fit perfectly. Uh, and I know they work on the uh, airplane because I was out, like I say, I was out there trying to do it last week. <clears throat> now the difference between what I showed last time and show, showed this time is I'm using these valves that came with the gauges and i said before that i thought they're kind of flimsy we're going to work well they're actually what they call micro flow adjusters if you need to buy extras look that up and it, typically it's an airflow adjuster for fish tanks and aquariums and you can find them on amazon <clears throat> uh, i the tubing that came with the uh, original gauges is okay i ended up ordering tubing uh, that's 532nd, make sure you do that, not the quarter inch, 532nd, got it from Amazon, I'll show it right now. It comes with these fittings, uh, these T fittings and stuff like that, and I'll talk about uh, T fitting in a, just a second here. <clears throat> but anyway, that's the completed uh, gauges all hooked up, ready to go, and again, I'm thinking about maybe tomorrow going out to the airport and trying it, and if you see this video, it worked. Uh, these hose clamps came with the uh, gauges didn't need them. I, at least I don't think I did. These are really a booger to put on, the, that 532nd tubing onto these quarter inch, but you can do it. And uh, one thing you want to make sure is you have an airtight uh, connection that you're, not, you, that you're not losing any vacuum. 
All right, <clears throat> now there's a couple of, of guys that have done carburetor sink videos. Uh, Light, Light and Sporty Guy is one of them. Uh, his is pretty good, although he gets confused here and there about how to do it. And uh, he's got this wild looking rig as far as shut off valves and T valves and all that stuff to check to make sure the gauges are accurate. Well, there's another guy that did his name's, uh, I think his channel is Willow's World. And he shows how to make sure that these gauges are accurate and both of them the same. And what I did, one thing he said was that you had to make sure that all these tubes were the exact same length or you could get a variation in the, in the two uh, valves. Well, I found out that that's incorrect. And the way I found out is I made this test uh, rig here. And this, this short tube versus this real long tube. And then, of course, this is the tube that you add the uh, vacuum tube right here. And so I hooked that up, and basically you just hook this up to one gauge, this uh, the other end up to the other gauge, and then you suck on this uh, tube to put some vacuum on it, and then both these needles should register exactly the same. And even though these these tubes are uh, lengths are different, they measured the same. So his his theory that uh, the um, tubes need to be the exact same length is incorrect. Uh, also, I've tested this after I've put it all together. I've sucked on each one of these uh, tubes. I know somebody's going to make a comment about that, but sucked on each one of these tubes and uh, got the pressure and it held. It didn't move, so it's, there's no leaks in that. Uh, there's another guy named Larry Medrick. He does a real good video on uh, sinking the carbs on his trike. He starts out by saying that because his carburetor Linkage is opposite of what normal is, that you shouldn't watch the video. Well, that's baloney. I mean, everything's the same except his adjustments on his ferrule nuts are just uh, backwards. So it, the rest of it is really good about how to get, that, get it to sink. He's got a manifold pressure gauge he uses, uh, which is nice, but I saw those and they're very expensive. Uh, so lastly, I'll say that this, this Rotex uh, adapter for the Rotex engine is way cheaper than what they want for the adapter uh, with, um, I think it's, I think the name of it is Carb Tech. Anyway, and I'll show a picture of what that costs. And this, this in comparison is like real, real cheap in fitting with my cheapskate method of doing it. So anyway, that's it updated. I hope again uh, that that other video didn't, didn't get you screwed up because uh, do not follow that. And uh, I'll, uh, get this posted as soon as I do the carb sink and if I post this video then everything worked uh, thanks for watching and the next video will probably be the actual carb sink